guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to change your coordinate systems in ArcGIS Pro. So right now I have a sample data set here in North Carolina. And to double check what the coordinate system is, I can either double click here or right click and go to properties. Now the name here map is defaulted when I open up a new project. On your project, it might be labeled something different. So I'm going to go over to properties go down to coordinate systems, and I can see that it's in NED 1983 State Plain, North Carolina, with a FIPS code in US feet. So if I wanted to change that, again, I would just come here, and that's what the current layer is, and I could go to the projected coordinate system, and this particular one is under State Plain, 1983, US feet. And again, that was in uh, North Carolina. Now, if I wanted to change it and to show you an example, I have some other sample data that's in Boulder, Colorado. So I'm going to add that to the data. I'm going to right click onto that data and zoom right over to it. And as I start zooming out, you can see it's obviously it's going to not be in the same coordinate system. Everything's kind of angled over to the side. So if I'm done with this sample data set here, and I want to work with this one, what I would simply do is, again, right-click, go to Properties. Now, if I don't know what state plane coordinate system to use, I will put a link uh, in the description. But what that is, and I apologize, I have a dual screen here. I'll put a link to this. It's a great, great resource uh, provided by ESRI. So again, I'm in Colorado here, in De uh, Boulder, Colorado. See, as I hover over here, I immediately know that the zone name is Colorado North, opposed to Colorado Central or Colorado South. So let's go back to my map. And again, I'm going to look for uh, Colorado North within the state plane system. Again, it's NED 1983, Harn US feet, and I'm going to go to Colorado North and say OK. It might take a second, but the whole map is, is it's going to shift. It's going to kind of correct itself. There we go. Now it's all lined up appropriately. And that's how you change your coordinate system. And again, this example, I'm just using a state plane. Um, there's a million other ones you could use. But the key takeaway is to go to your map, go to properties, go to coordinate systems, and you can select your coordinate system accordingly. So if you guys have any questions about that, as always, please feel free to leave a message down below and I'll get back to you. And as always, if you find value in this, I really do appreciate if you like and uh, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.